everything you've heard about the newly renovated Fortune City, Nevada, it's all true. Unbelievable things happen here. Are you hungry for adventure? Explode your senses. You can risk it all with cutting edge competition. Lose your head, or just maybe your heart. Open yourself up in Fortune City. Dead Rising 2, let's go. Yes, finally. God, fucking finally. You've been teasing me with these stupid bonus episodes and the yeah. dumb Doom Let's Play and the yes. prologue and all that shit. Let's get hey, down to the nitty like goddamn Doom. gritty. I like Doom. But now it is, t it is truly time for Dead Rising. We're done with Case Zero. We know how to play the game now. So now it's time to play the actual game. The better one yes. out of the three. Mm. Oh, I can't wait, can't wait. So, uh, welcome to Fortune City Las Vegas, or Fortune City Nevada. It's complete overhaul of Las Vegas, because they can't say Las Vegas, even though they do say Las Vegas. <laughs> but this is Fortune City. It's Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. it's it's Vegas. Just, yeah. Whatever they tell you, just say it's Vegas. Hey, look at this! Yeah. We have huh? a save file in case zero. We are importing that. So now we are up to level five. We've got our cash. We've got our experience. We have all the things we unlocked so it, skill wise for that. And we could just restart the entire story with all of our stats intact. Awesome. All of our five stats. <laughs> Nisky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. I, I love how no one knows how to spell your name, by the way. <laughs> Yes, because I make it so overly complicated. You know, I got the the and then the four letters, and drinking too much will make Chuck sick. You, you got to have all the details. Well, when you see one channel is spelled N S C L, the other one is spelled N I S K K L E. See, you can't even spell it. <laughs> oh, look! A degree of quality! Before 2016, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, this is, you know, back in 2010. Hey! This is before Dead Rising was a shell of its former self. You know? <laughs> I will say, now that I have played Dead Rising 4, it is actually really stupid fun. There's just a lot of things I wish they would have kept in kept in the series. So you wish it would have been more than it is? Well, I mean, it's it still has a lot of good merits, and it's absolutely hysterical. But uh, there's just a few things that I have no idea why they took them out. But it's still a really solid game thumbs up for me dead rising 4 but um i would say if you're a fan of the series just stick uh stick with it being at a lower price let's, let's say yes that. one day we'll probably get to it knowing him yep 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 gotta do it have to do and it. i hope he'll bring i hope he'll bring me on for the co-op because hey this is how these things always work right yep i think i'll bring you along for all the dead risings we seem to have a good chemistry and i can show you some really funny things you can do with the undead yeah we have a great chemistry together. Yeah. Okay, fine. You're not going to be in the next one. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. God damn it. You just had to say something, and now you're just not no. going to be in it. Oh, oh. Hey, I'm dead. Hey, hey, look, look. I'm dead rising too, you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I do like that effect where it just blinks in. I think that's really cool. Good job, guys. Okay, L let me see if you can spot the asshole character in this story, okay? There he is, there he is, there he is! No, no, it's not that obvious. Or it might be. Oh, wait, let's see if you can figure it out. Is it all of them? Because they seem like uh, really reputable people. <laughs> By the way, I, I love the concept of this game, because it's, it's still hilariously stupid. Uh, see, Vegas. <laughs> I wonder which one's the asshole. <laughs> yeah, heard your daughter's terminal. Hope she doesn't die in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight, America, we're going 
yeah, the setup to Dead Rising 2, just with the the game show element, the the fact that it takes place in Vegas, so you have all this gambling and everything. It's it's all atmospheric, and that's what I like about Dead Rising 2 setting wise, as far as like everything else. Because first one you get a shopping mall, second one you get Las Vegas, the third one you get an entire city, and uh, four you go for the mall again. So this one is definitely the most flashy out of all of them. And I think uh, I think KG Inafune was given, like, full reign. Do you mean to say it's the best one out of the series? Uh, no, because it still has issues. What is the best one of the series, in your opinion? I'd say the most, like, tightly made game would actually be Dead Rising 3. <laughs> the one I oh. basically turned my back on in the first one. Because I hadn't played it yet. But then I played it and I was like, Jesus Christ, this is amazing. But because, the you know, the older ones, they have a couple technical hiccups. They were still getting the technology right. But, uh, yeah, br they brought it to Xbox One and they got it all right. Story, story, Dead Rising 3 is whatever. But, uh, yeah, Dead Rising 2 probably has my favorite story out of all of them. Well, when we do 3, I'm just going to take your word on it because I've never seen or even heard much of 3. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, I hope it is. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm just convinced that this is just Mad World in color right now. Yes! Thank you. <laughs> He's just the Black Baron. That's all he is. This is just Mad World in color. That's that's all it is. In fact, Mad World, I would say, is a... Terror is reality, go! Oh, 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 all right. All right. Oh, whoa. That Hold do, whoa. down the right do, trigger whoa. and you can drive. If you actually uh, press the left trigger, you can actually... Uh, break and do a bit of a slide and this is the easiest way to get points and you do want to get these points because you want to get the cash early on if you hit the zombies with the little uh, pink little bob it actually blows up and kills zombies around them get in a big crowd with ones with uh, little pink markers over them and you can get tons of points and it all stacks and this is just explaining I'm not kidding you the multiplayer mode that was added to Dead Rising 2 this is one of the mini games you can do See, heavy rain needed an entire hour of you just fucking around in your house. <laughs> sketching a house, playing with your kids, bringing the groceries in. Best dad. This one starts out with you mowing down zombies in a double chainsaw motorcycle. Holy shit! Yeah, this is a really awesome way to start out your dead rising. It's just like, here you go. Here's a new mechanic. Have fun. <laughs> nice little ending stunt you did there. Oh, thank you. I did that on purpose. Totally. You fucking show off. <laughs> uh, unglorified violence. The Black Baron wants you to hose him down. You know, um, in, in these types of uh, shows where, uh, you know, it's just, you know, killing people, you know, people love to see death and murder. They always say, the people love to see it. This is what people want to see. Is it really? Because I got a feeling that, at least nowadays, if they were to show actual live, like, murder on camera, there would be such a shit fit. Guaranteed. I... Guaranteed. fucking teed But apparently, you know, zombies, that was the game changer. It's like, it's okay if zombies die, right? I mean, we can't even have a documentary series on people getting out of the KKK without people making a stink. So, having actual live zombie murder on camera, I don't goddamn think so, kids. Okay, you know how hilarious it is that you bring this up? That's actually a plot point here in Dead Rising 2, and we're about to hear about it. Yeah, but, you know, they're, they take that plot point like it's, you know, some, you know, like, this is crazy liberal nonsense crap is talking about how zombies aren't they? It's like, no, this would be about the majority of what people think, I think. At least I'd hope so. I don't... <laughs> I hope that people aren't yeah, that look. insane. Yeah. Terror is reality. That's the game show we were on. We were playing for cash. We're killing zombies for for big money. And then we have Cure, the zombie activist group. Zombies are people, too. You can't kill them. What are you doing? So uh, what does Cure stand for? Uh, I don't know. They explained it in the cutscene. I wasn't paying attention. Can't understand rational enlightenment. I mean, I'm good with that. And look, they actually interviewed average citizens for this. 
Hello, we are the Average Citizens. I'm John Average Citizen, this is Mary Average Citizen. <laughs> oh god, we're killing the undead for money. We're monsters! I'd rather just have them back. <laughs> Lost my family back in Willamette. And yet, Frank West killed them again. I was just thinking, yeah, we're, we're hearing uh, Frank West laughing in the background. <laughs> Good game. Hey, how's it going? Slap, slap. Oh, God. Yeah. Take the elevator up a floor and then straight down. Is that a fur towel he's got on? I mean, only the highest of quality in Las Vegas. That must feel so amazing on you. I would think so, yeah. All right. Prize money acquired. Wow, Prize only money. 2,000. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's... 10 grand. <laughs> I have to say, $2,000 for killing all those zombies? <laughs> Fucking nah, nonsense. No. Yeah, uh, first prize will net you $10,000, so congrats, you're now 10000 bucks richer, and any money you had over in Dead Rising 2 Case Zero will come over here, so I'm looking pretty good for at least starting cash. We'll definitely need a lot more. Answer me this, then, to yes. quote you. Could I, then, accrue $100,000 in Case Zero and bring $100,000 over to Dead Rising 2? I'm going to give you a tentative yes, because I have never tried it. But it makes sense in theory. Post-text? Hmm? I'm going to laugh if post-text doesn't even know. <laughs> anyway, uh, Dead Rising staple. Go to the bathroom to save. And uh, right here, I, I love this. There's a lot more interaction with the NPC characters in Dead Rising 2. A lot more readable text, too. Yeah, a lot, definitely a lot more readable text. They learned their lesson. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is Blue Castle Studios. This is what eventually became Capcom Vancouver, and they do magical work with original set pieces that Capcom has done before. Like, they took the original blueprint of the of Dead Rising 1 and turned it into this. Like, look at this. It's just a little Easter egg for going into a room. <laughs> I'm in your room. You can't do I'm anything about it. I'm trying to peek at all the naked ladies in here, even though you're all scantily dressed. And also, I, they kind of ramped it up in the insanity department for all the characters. And I'm Please. sorry, did she did she just say, go on, take the money, and run? Yes. The ladies were a little disappointed. But, <laughs> I love this. But I won! I won, though! Why are they disappointed? I won! It's just so she can insult you. That's probably the best part. These <laughs> These sisters are bitches. So I so I win the fucking terror is reality, and and then I step into a rushing room and try and be forward, and she's like, "Oh, get out! What are you doing?" And then I try to go in the elevator, try to go on my life, and she's like, "Oh, you probably got a tiny dick because you suck at your job, and ooh, we're more I bet women you suck than you killing can zombies because your wife is dead. Also, your dick <laughs> small. Jeez, people, come on, give them a break. Everybody's a dickhead in this." And it kind of makes it a lot funnier. Uh-oh. Uh. Well, something bad happened, and we got stuck in the elevator. Now I'm trapped in an elevator. And I, I actually like the, uh... I, I want to say dynamic they gave to Chuck. Because the first thing he thinks of when he wakes up... The first thing he thinks of is his daughter. Is she okay? So, uh, that's kind of nice. He's family man Chuck Green. Like he's some sort of father or something. Hmm. I think they got that part down solid. So uh, now, when we get her out, oh. when we get him, when we get him out of the elevator, we got to make sure that Katie's okay. So you all got to do is press X, and then Katie, Katie, <laughs> Katie, <laughs> Katie. Katie! <laughs> oh wait! Up! Oh! How did you? How did that happen? Well, whatever. It happened. You know. I would make Dead Rising 5, and I would just make it about that one guy. <laughs> you the start one guy off, that, that got hit. Oh, the end yeah. of the game the, the end of the game is going to be that one guy who throws himself in front of Chuck. That's It's all going to lead to that. It's going to be a huge, huge plot point in Dead Rising. Like It's not going to mean anything, but it turns out that there's timelines that are going wrong. The zombie outbreak will never be stopped unless if he throws himself in front of that guy, but it takes like 20 hours before he realizes that. you got to through this whole game and going through the... You know, I should never be able to write games or movies. No, you shouldn't. But uh, here, here is uh, Dead Rising 2 in a nutshell. Basically, 
because Chuck is a bit more experienced in zombie killing, he actually handles weapons a lot, a lot different from Frank. He's a lot stronger than Frank, so simple weapons that you had in Dead Rising 1 will now act a whole lot different here in Dead Rising 2. Like, originally in uh, Dead Rising 1, the guitar, Frank would swing it around like a madman because it looks like it's too heavy for him. But here, Chuck has, like, a full grip on everything that he's using to kill these zombies with. So Drake it, is dead. Wiz Khalifa's where is that, man? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I hope there's a little, uh, a little sign up there that says rap is dead. That would be more... Uh, Explanatory. You need to hear some good rap, man. You're not going to hear it in America, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's all dead. Let's go see if our daughter's still alive. Nope. Oh, well. Katie. Katie. <laughs> there she is. Get off her. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. well. Who cares, then? Wait, is that Clementine's hat? Maybe. But I love how you called it. He's just like, oh, who cares? Uh-oh. <laughs> you really gotta bring Mommy up every single fucking chance you get, don't you, little brat? <laughs> <laughs> so, is there any point in the game where you can hurt Katie? No. Like, if she if she's standing and you swing a, well, guitar, for example, you can't, like, hit her by collateral damage? Nope, she cannot be hurt. And uh, something really funny, same rule applies in Dead Rising 2 than it did for one... Oh, sorry, buddy. Um, oh, God, Erwin when you, just dropped like a rock. <laughs> when you are holding a survivor, zombies uh, do not grab you as often. So it, it basically drops their their grapple percentage by a whole lot. And by the way, I'm going to be a dick here in this opening. If survivors are getting in my way, I'm a caring, loving father. I'm going to push them out of the way. <laughs> hey, Lance. Fuck you. Oh, sorry. Fuck you. There you go. Get out of my way, asshole. I'm trying Give to save Lance my daughter. Lance. Get out of the way. <laughs> hey, hey, Lucas. Fuck you. <laughs> Kick your Luke you, ass. <laughs> Come down here, and then we're home free. <laughs> I am the hero. I am the good guy because I <laughs> saved what was important to me. I'm the hero. Oh no, not again. <laughs> oh no, not again. Hashtag Dead Rising Two. <laughs> no, that would be an oh yay again. Oh god. Or rather, oh no, not again. Hashtag Dead Rising Four. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. No. Uh, oh no! Uh, 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 well, don't don't okay. I'll see you. Tight, Katie. Hold on tight, Katie. One, two, hup. Woo! I'd like to think that Chuck is make, making motorcycle sounds right now as he's running through. It's like <laughs> Katie, Bob, and Weave. <laughs> Wheelie. He puts her on his back and just goes, Here we go! <laughs> You've already gotten to the sound effects portion of the Dead Rising 2 Let's Play. We don't have anything else. Nope, that's about it. I mean, well, I guess we can think of some of the things. You, yeah, wanna, start the pun you wanna start the puns again? No, let's, let's save that for our ace in the hole. Oh, okay. Right. Let's save that for later, for when we really need it. Oh, by the way, we're Okay, safe. God, we really need it. Shit. <laughs> he just went into an emergency shelter. Fuck! What do we use? <laughs> what do we do with that? Maybe we can shelter ourselves from any oncoming criticism? Nope. Oh, oh. Horror trope. Can't get a signal. I can't get a signal. Uh, I can get one. Yeah, I got like four bars. I got like three bars over here. Yeah, I'm running full service too. What do you have? I'M RUNNING AT&T! Ah! Oh, that's your problem! I think that needs to be done in a horror film. You got a character holding up a phone just saying, I can't... I can't get a signal! I mean, and the other character's going, oh, I got one. I got like two bars. God. Everybody, come on in. Or like, oh, man, I can't get a signal! But then they plug in one of those devices and then that expands their signal. It's like, okay, I got like full bars now. Okay, look at this jerk off. <laughs> he stops him. Like, he. Chuck is the only one who gets stopped by this guy. 
so he just happens to see, you know, the bite mark. Hey, don't worry. I've got Zombrex. And then he has to use, like, Is Ace in the Hole. So do you know what FCS stands for? Uh, fucking cunt stain? Well, I was going to say fucking cocksucker, but, you know. Yeah, well, either or, I guess. That's the British organization you got there. <laughs> got it. We're the American division. We're the fucking cocksucker. You know, I got to talk to management about the name. <laughs> Why did we pick these names on April Fool's Day? Makes no sense. We were going to have a name change meeting on April 1st, but some jackass has decided to make a joke out of it. Fucking cocksuckers. It, oh. What, okay. I said I liked the story elements in Dead Rising 2. There's one thing that kind of... Uh, I'm not really so good on, is the fact that everybody seems like they're the bad guy. Like, so far, every single main character we've met has this, like, look in their eyes, just like, I'm gonna fuck you over. Have you ever played Dark Souls? No. Every NPC that you talk to ends their sentence with <laughs> some kind of a chuckle, some kind of a laugh, to make you think that maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't trust what this person is saying. Well, this is something completely different. This is a good game. Oh! oh! I went there! Are you right. sure about well, that, homie? I mean, you know, different games for different folks, I guess. There's a pharmacy. <laughs> and since I've never played it, I clearly have no say in the matter. Yeah! So, so whatever I say it. means absolutely nothing. Yeah, I know a way out of here. It's only nine millimeters long, though. Wow. Otis got hot. <laughs> By the way, she's our new contact. There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors. She's like, well, nobody likes an old black guy yelling at them on a two way pager. <laughs> Maybe they'd like a hot, sexy lady doing it instead. And the answer was, nope. <laughs> Keep an eye on my dog. Okay. okay. I, I love this. L the audio key is coming in. The, the little guitar riff. I love this riff. Let me hear it. <laughs> yeah, tur turn the volume up a bit. Getting shit done. Fortune City. Looks like Chuck Green is about to fuck shit up. And it didn't really escalate in anything, so. Da -da! Getting shit done. Da -da! <laughs> Getting shit done. Alright, so the time element is back. We have 72 hours until uh, till the government gets here. And uh, this is the first game to introduce co-op. This is going to be done single player, but it is going to be co-op commentary. Yay! Because I don't have Xbox Live. Yay! Yay! And you barely have an Xbox 360, if we're going to be completely honest here. No, no, I have an Xbox 360. It's, it's, I, I got a new one. Oh, yeah. So, uh, it. here's something cool. What do you got? Dead Rising 2 Case Zero, some of the, uh, some of the outfits we dressed up in showed up in this game. And uh, here's some DLC that I managed to get for pre-ordering the game. <laughs> Goes great with any sharp implement. Daddy's gonna make everything okay for you, sweetheart. <laughs> right here. Uh, yeah, we can get a we can get a bowling shirt. We can get our hairstyle. We can get regular Chuck face. And uh, that's actually where we're gonna leave it today. We got through the prologue here, and we're gonna finally get into Fortune City and explore it more. So uh, next time on. Dead Rising 2, official game, we're going to go find some Zombrex because gameplay elements. Next time on Dead Rising 2, the game actually starts. Yeah. Well, I'd still say this one was a pretty decent start. I mean, I got to kick people into zombies. That's fun. Yep, this somehow feels like episode 5 of Dead Rising no, 2. No, you, you, you blowing the illusion! End it!